Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. Recently you saw a video in which I showed you how to install Android 12 Beta 2 on this wonderful device. And guess what? Once again we did something that you might have not been expecting. I went all out, installed most of the applications that I use daily and I used this ROM which is not so great or stable as a daily driver so that I can share my experience with you in case you want to try Android 12, what should you expect? So that's what today's video is about. Android 12 first impressions on the Poco X3 Pro but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where we have more than a thousand members and everybody's chatting all day you can get all help you need and the support as well last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash. let's get going So what do we have here? We have a Poco X3 Pro which looks like a pixel, not hardware wise but we are talking software wise. The reason I say that is because the moment you go to settings over here, you will see that it is the Android 12 Beta 2 from Google Pixel 5 which has been ported to this wonderful wonderful device. So the first thing that we will do is we will go ahead and check what is working and what is not so that you can go ahead and decide if you want to install it or not. Alright, so on your screen right now is the details about this particular port. It says initial port OOF kernel based on Ethereum refresh rate only 120 or 60 Hertz check notes CTS passes with Magisk hide based on 12.5.1 global firmware everything included. What are the bugs SD card issue with recovery mentioned in notes if Bluetooth audio don't work then try to disable HD audio options still don't work wait for an update UI glitches sometimes blame Google that's everything and if you want to know how to want to flash it you know how do you go about flashing this you can watch yesterday's video that is the guide of installation of Android 12 now that we have that out of the way let's actually go to settings over here all right now Android 12 settings as you can see over here you have my account information settings and then you have the search option more or less pretty much like Android 11 but then you have the font which is big it is a little more colorful and these scrolling animations are pretty good right as you can see over here if you go to about phone and you go ahead and click on Android version you will see that it is still the Android 11 Easter egg and the system update is old but the security update is the 5th of June and it is a kernel based on Ethereum kernel. So over here some information which is very very critical for you. Can this be used as a daily driver? Yes. Should you use it as a daily driver? I would suggest no because as mentioned there the Bluetooth audio did not work for me so for me that itself is a deal breaker sometimes I had calls wherein the other person was not able to hear me so that bug was there besides this ROM does not come with a camera app so you have to install Gcam and there is a XML so the camera part should work just fine right so as far as the performance of this particular update is concerned I did run the CPU throttle test app and just after like one minute it started throttling left right and center I also tested Battlegrounds Mobile India or BGMI it worked fine but when taking a Senoc bootcamp drop test there were a lot of frame drops so if you are expecting that this is Android S and this will be stable well it's not that stable on pixel devices yet so this is still a third party device that you're talking about and it is a port what is the good thing about this particular ROM is that it's extremely smooth. It's probably smoother than most of the custom ROMs that I've seen out there. You will notice that it's it's working smooth AF to be very very honest. The app launch animations, play store, everything else to the left you have the Google now or Google discover feed and you can see how smooth it is right now apart from this if you talk you do have the new monet UI which is enabled by default it works flawlessly and if you go to settings and you go to other options like display Wi-Fi you do have all the changes from Google which are going to be introduced in Android 12 and you do notice that from Android 11 to Android 12 the migration is getting smoother with each every beta so what I'm trying to say over here is 
if you have some time on your hand if you want to try it maybe use it for a day wherein you have a spare phone and you can use your personal sim card on there give it a try because you know although you might not be use, able to use it as a daily driver it is definitely worth experiencing that if given the right software how powerful and smooth the phone can feel and look that is what i'm trying to say and you know as i said the launcher for example if you go over here and you go to home settings you will get the standard pixel launcher it says version s which is you know later going to be converted into a pixel launcher the gestures are working flawlessly right there are no problems as such i've been using this device as a personal phone because that's what i am doing now as you can see over here everything works as expected you have screenshot you have select which works like a charm there you go so the setup menu and itself you know those things are pretty pretty good i have not really found anything which would tell me that oh don't touch this rom or don't do this don't do that and i did think of giving you benchmark numbers but then it is a port of a beta version so you are not supposed to you know experience it as a stable rom or something like that all in all you know to conclude in this particular video android 12 beta 2 port on the poco x3 pro looks super amazing if you have some time on your hand go ahead give it a try for me voice over lte voice over wi-fi most of the things have been working absolutely fine don't ask me about drm and safety net because it doesn't really make sense safety net you have to use majus kide and drm i did not bother to check to be very very honest but all in all i did manage to use it for more than a day so hey even if you just have one phone and you are ready to get some trouble that's completely fine you can go ahead and try it it's always exciting to try a new android version right so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye